All right, in this video, we're going to look at the fundamental theorem of calculus part two. And I think this is the part probably, uh, you know, most people use it. Maybe they don't recall that it was called this. So uh, what the fundamental theorem of calculus part two uh, tells us, it tells us how to calculate a definite integral. So if we want to integrate little f of x uh, dx from a to b, it says what we do is we, we find a capital F of x, which is an antiderivative, and then a lot of times we'll just make a little bar here. That's the notation kind of uh, saying, well, now we've found an antiderivative. We still have to evaluate that from a to b. And to evaluate this, what we do is we calculate f of b minus f of a. So we take the upper limit of integration and subtract away what's called the lower limit of integration. So Again, all this condition says is that capital F is an antiderivative. So pretty straightforward. Um, you know, now you just have to just know antiderivative. So um, I've picked one here completely at random, uh, cer certainly uh, a pretty basic one. So we're going to calculate the definite integral from 1 to 3 of x plus 2. Well, the first thing we have to do is find an antiderivative of x to the first. And what we do when we have x to a power is we add 1 to that power, so I'm going to get x to the second, and then divide that by 2. And then I need to find an antiderivative of, of uh, the constant 2. Well, uh, 2x would be an antiderivative of uh, the constant 2. And you can always check you have a correct antiderivative by simply taking the derivative, and you should get back your, your original function uh, back. And what I'm going to do now, since we found an antiderivative, I'm just going to write, well, from 1 to 3. And what I'm going to do now uh, is just simply everywhere there's an x, I'm going to plug in a 3. So I'm going to have 3 squared over 2 plus 2 times 3. So this is like my f of b part, or in this case, it's going to be f of 3. And then what we do is we subtract away. Okay, so now everywhere there's an x, I simply plug in 1. So we would have 1 squared over 2 plus 2 times 1. So here we're subtracting away our f of a, which in this case, again, is just uh, f of 1. And now we just have to do the arithmetic. So I don't think this one is uh, too terribly bad to compute. Let's see, so 3 squared is 9. So we have 9 over 2 plus 2 times 3, which is 6. Minus, well, let's see, we would have 1 half plus 2. So let's see, that's 9 halves plus 6 minus 1 half minus 2. When we distribute the negative, well, let's see, 9 halves minus 1 half, that's going to give us 8 halves. Uh, positive 6 minus 2, let's see, positive 6 minus 2, that's going to give us positive 4. Well, 8 over 2 is just 4, so we have 4 plus 4. Or we get the value positive 8. So in this case, 8 would be the value of our definite integral. But again, all it says, uh, all the fundamental theorem of calculus part 2 says, I shouldn't say all it says, it's super, super, super important. Um, it says to, to calculate a definite integral, uh, find an antiderivative, plug in your limits of integration, subtract, and you'll have your answer.